so that happened. If you are unfamiliar, the Gibb versus Jake Paul fight happened at 2 a.m. this morning in the UK. And uh, it didn't really work out for, for Gibb. And uh, Jake Paul won by uh, knockout first round. Uh, referee called it and Gib lost what does that mean well it means that the 15 pound I put on him uh, is now down the toilet I also want to put it out there that yes I did have money on Gib to win I put 15 pound on him and that would have got me a return of 40 quid but I'm not bitter when I decided to put money on Gib I went with statistics graphs stats Numbers. I crunched them. I made love to those numbers. I figured, okay, so let's look at it this way. Jake Paul, how many fights has he won? One, but not before Deji bloodied his nose. Okay, all right, this is looking good for Gibb so far. How many fights has Gibb won? Two amateur fights. Oh, that's one more than Jake Paul, and he didn't get his nose bloodied either. Correct. Okay, let's put the money on Gibb. And, uh, yeah, and then it all went to shit. <laughs> I'm broke! <laughs> Seriously, please, please, YouTube, can I get monetized now? <laughs> oh, you've got to laugh. you got to laugh, because at the end of the day, it's just funny. <laughs> and it probably means that there's going to be a match between KSI and Jake Paul now. Because we thought YouTube boxing was done for. Performance wise, uh, I don't really know a lot about boxing, but I followed all their training videos and all that. And I gotta say that Jake simply just outclassed him, and there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that at all, but it's almost like they both trained for two very different versions of this fight. I'm not bitter about it. I think it was a it was a good one victory. Although, the entire match itself lasted, what, about two or three minutes? So naturally, a lot of us in the UK are kind of annoyed that we stayed up to watch it. I actually didn't. I actually got to sleep, thankfully, and I woke up at seven, saw that he lost, and was like, yep, shit, that's £15 down the drain. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's, uh, those are my thoughts on the, on the fight. But I just want to add one more thing. I said on Twitter that it doesn't actually matter who wins this fight. It doesn't. If you think about it, just stick with me here. So, if Jake Paul wins like he has, his channel is still going to decline, his views are going to keep going down, his subscriber count is going to slow down, and he'll just fade into irrelevancy like Ricegum and all the others. Gibb has got himself out there, made himself known to people outside of the UK, as in, in America, he's gonna to continue to grow. His subscriber count is gonna go up, his view count's gonna go up. Hell, even during those live streams, his was about 74,000 views, meanwhile Jake's was at 4,000. It clearly shows who was the favorite to win. Uh, that's, that's what that shows. And I think Gib knows that whether he's won or lost, he's basically won at everything else. And I think he knows that. And I think with everyone else, it's like, well, uh, Jake won. That means we get more money out of another KSI match. Because that rakes in the views. <laughs> and uh, that's just my thoughts on the match. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I'll hopefully have a video out next Tuesday. But it might be a bit later than usual. Because I actually start my job next week. I'm very nervous. Uh, but it's going to be nice to have a, a form of income again. <laughs> And yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, and I shall see you in the next video, which will be Tuesday, later on. Thank you very much.